it's January and the polytunnel is beginning to take shape. We've got some beds cleared and someone, because we've divided this up for the allotment site and they've each got their own different areas, someone started to put some carrots in here. Obviously like their early carrots and we've got two nice neat rows of carrot seeds just beginning to pop through and it's late January so um, they're going to have some early crop, it's quite good. You can tell the difference in this almost cathedral-like space because it's kind of still and peaceful. There's no wind, even though we've got a mesh side, the temperature in here is a couple of degrees warmer than it is outside. Um, it's just above freezing outside and it's maybe three or four in here, which is just enough. You don't need much more. It's an unheated space and so it's quite a big space to heat up so it's not that expensive to run however in the summertime when the sun is cracking the flags the fact that we've got a mesh side will make this interior absolutely perfect for growth so january not much going on clearing of beds the building of a path someone's got some early carrots in fantastic fun in the polytunnel now if you've got a polytunnel you can do all sorts of things right now you can put onions carrots early potatoes get a bed of potatoes in now for july early spuds fantastic you can put all kinds of salads crops straight in here for the end of may the beginning of may you can have some brilliant radishes um, and then of course in a couple of weeks time it's going to be start time to start off tomatoes and all kinds of other fruit crops such as peppers and aubergines and if this were my polytunnel which unfortunately it's not I'd be putting a huge vine right down the center but then I've got ulterior motives